Hello folks, it's me, the old deplorable basket case here, back once more with Encouraging World News this week in Awesome, for August 4th, 1918. 1918? Anyway, whatever century it is, a top Gulf Cartel commander, Victor Manuel Flores Rico, I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing at least one of his names, known as Pantera 16, directly linked to raging violence in the border town of Tamaulipas, was found this week in the beach resort town of Puerto Valeria by federal and state authorities. Which is always good, you know? Moving on, NASA announced the crew for the first commercial space flights from the U.S. They'll be flying four planned missions, testing out various launch platforms and spacecraft. So we may stand, right now, on the brink of a whole new age in space exploration and even colonization. Awesome, isn't it? Um... The unemployment rate in the U.S. hits a whole new low of 3.9%. Despite the closing of Toys R Us, which means a loss of 32,000 jobs in the toy and hobby store category, the U.S. economy added 157,000 new jobs in July. Also, the Hispanic unemployment rate has hit an all-time low of 4.5%, which makes two consecutive months Hispanic unemployment has hit an all-time low. Moving on to a completely other category, American biotechnology company Biogen and Japanese drug maker Isai have put their new Alzheimer's treatment drug, BAN-2401, through an 18-month Phase two trial involving nearly 8,000 patients. Uh, the treatment reduced development of new beta amyloid clusters in the brain, which are the toxic proteins linked to the disease and also reduced existing clusters of the protein by an average of 70%. Patients showed a remarkable improvement in cognition, 26 to 30% allegedly, but less than 10% of patients showed any side effects related to beta amyloid therapies. So we have a drug which seems to be, is apparently far more effective at treating Alzheimer's than any a treatment that is now in existence and with very few side effects. Fewer side effects than, as far as I know, any treatment now on the market. That is really big news for the future. Also in the field of medical miracles, Japanese scientists at Kyoto University have developed a technique that could completely reverse the effects of Parkinson's disease. They've taken donated, donated adult stem cells reprogrammed them into embryonic cells, and then developed them into dopamine-producing neurons. The treatment has passed a two-year study using monkeys, who all seemed fine, by the way, and the Japs have just been given government permission to begin clinical trials. Meanwhile, over in the good old U.S. of A., a research team at the University of Texas Medical Branch at Galveston has successfully bi bioengineered lungs. That's right, bioengineered lungs. Each lung was made for a specific host, in this case, pigs out of the host's own genetic material. There were no instances of the host body rejecting the implanted lung, as happens in normal transplants, and after two months, the implanted lungs had 100% oxygen, oxygen saturation. In other words, completely working. Apparently, the lead researchers, Joe Nichols and, and uh, Joaquin Cortiella, I'm sure I'm mispronouncing that, I apologize, 15 years to reach this point. They say within five to ten years, and maybe producing lungs for people as needed in compassionate circumstances. It's amazing, isn't it? How how many medical advancements are happening all the time? I mean, I, I have at least I have at least one every week, practically. Moving on to some more human interest stories. Uh, Neil Diamond came out of retirement specifically to give a performance for hundreds of firefighters. Who, Firefighters who came from all over the country to help contain the Colorado wildfires. He's from Colorado, you see. Uh, Dolly Parton was honored by the Library of Congress, marking a little-known milestone. The 100th millionth book that she has given away is part of her Imagination Library to honor her father. An illiterate, but the smartest man she ever knew. Eight-year-old Australian Grace Moores is a big fan of Katy Perry, apparently, and wanted to see her perform in Adelaide, Australia. But doctors found a six-centimeter tumor in her brain. Uh, Grace, not Katie's, and so she was forced to miss the concert. To put your mind to rest right off, the surgery was apparently a total success. 
Not only that, but Katy Perry came to the Moore's home in person to meet with Grace, singing some of Grace's favorite songs with her, gave autographs, and a concert t-shirt to young Grace. Now, this isn't a recent thing, but I just heard about it, and I think it's too good not to share. Arnold Schwarzenegger, who served in the Austrian army in 1965, spent $20,000 in 1991 to have the tank he served on brought to America. He lets kids who do well in school drive it with him and crush stuff. He used to try to motivate kids to do well by taking them onto his movie sets, but since he stopped making movies in 2003, he's had, to come up, he's had to come up with something else. After all, between driving a tank and getting a tour of the state capitol, which would you pick? And that's all for today, folks. Uh, thank you for listening in. Um, please comment below with anything you have to say. I'd just like to know what, what, interesting, what fascinating, wonderful, encouraging news do you have to share? I'd really like to hear it. And that's all. Have a good night and God bless.